picture, picture frame for Mother's Day. Okay. What you need is two paper plates, two paper plates, and then you take and you need to make the holes. And every two grooves you make a hole. If you like to make every one, you can do it too. Okay. Till you punch all around. Okay. Now what uh, what you have here the the white part of the right circles do not throw away. We can use it for our project with different colors. Okay. Okay. So I did this ahead of time, and I have now what you need to do when you you make the holes, you punch the holes, two uh, two papers together. Please in the back. Mark yourself like both sides where it starts with the arrow or any mark. So when you are going to sew together the two plates for a frame, you are going to have the same holes. You don't have to struggle to find where is the holes. Like such like this. You see how all the, the holes match? If you move it around, look at this, it doesn't match. So on both sides I made an arrow or you can make a dot, whatever you want with a pencil. It's going to be inside the picture so you don't see it. Okay, after you did this, you are going to take a small uh, heart. If you want a bigger heart, as long as it's going to fit here. If you like a bigger one, and you are going to trace it with a pencil. Where is the pencil? Trace it around in the middle of the plate. Okay, after, oops, after you trace it, you are going to take, and this is only one of the plates, this one. You are going to take a ruler and make in the middle a line. So it's going to be exactly in the middle. This is what is going to make the window for the picture frame. So the plate. Now what I'm going to do is and for this you really need a grown-up do not use exacto knife without a grown-up or actually grown-up should do it and you go and i'm going to cut straight i put on something on the surface not on the table so it doesn't make a hole and i'm going to start cutting let's see it didn't come out just the beginning and then you can use the knife let's see Okay, I think there is enough. You close it. Please be very careful, okay? So I have here the opening for the heart, as you can see. I'm going to put the scissors in and, and very gently go on the straight line and make the opening of the window. It's like a window, okay? Now, what you're going to do, these two lines I'm going to leave attached. So it's going to be, you open and close. So mark yourself so you don't forget. Okay, and you start cutting the heart. Such like this. And you go this way again, the other side of the heart. And these marks are going to be inside the picture frame, so you don't have to worry about any marks. Then you go to the top from the middle of the heart and you cut it around and around the heart and on the other side okay and this is how it is now this is the this is the outside now as you can see there are some, some are not so straight so you go and cut it with the scissor and then we are going to decorate, so most of the stuff we are not going to see. I have a little bit of place here that I have to cut, straighten up. Maybe if you use smaller scissors, it's going to be easy. Okay, now you can see the two places that were attached, that I marked here the two places. And here is the window. Now, what you are going to do, I took a picture from a magazine, but you are going to take your own picture. If you want with your mother, if you want uh, alone, and you are going to glue inside. Now, if you have a picture, a big one, you need maybe a bigger uh, uh, 
art. So what I'm going to do, because this is what I have now, I'm going to glue this picture in the back. Oops, you need to close the heart. Be sure you go around and around. Very easy, as you can see. And this you glue from the inside, such like this I'm going to show you. So be sure that the picture is before it dries, that is the middle of the frame. Okay, let's see. One moment. What do you think? Perfect. And this is the outside. Now, with this you can wait to, to dry and here when you close it after it dries look how pretty it is and you open it okay now let's pretend that this one is dry what we need to do now is to make to put together remember that we have the two the two uh, arrow in the back these two needs to match together the two circles you see how everything match is easy Okay, what we are going to do now, we are going to take the red yarn. You like a different color, you can do a different color, it doesn't matter. Okay, and you don't have to measure it because you know what? I'm going to leave it attached to the, to the yarn and then we cut it when we finish. Now, because it's not easy to put inside, what I'm doing, I'm going to create a needle, especially for children, that made of masking tape. What you are going to do, you take a piece of masking tape, okay, and cut like this. And on the edge of the yarn, you are going to create kind of a needle. And you go around, you don't need too much even. I'm going to show you. Let's say that this is enough. You can cut the piece out. And you go around, so no, nothing sticky is coming out. And then you are not going to cre create like a tip of a needle. And this is how you are going to start putting together. Let's be sure that we have the two, the two uh, arrow together. Here they are. Let's see. Let me be sure. No, this one move. This and this together. Okay, and I'm going to start like going inside between the two and the next two together. What, let me show you in a moment. You see how it goes? And these are going to do these two plates are going to be together. Okay, it's like sewing. This is a very good exercise for the small muscles of the in eye and in coordination too. Okay, so you go up and down. Up and down. Oopsie. You see how it goes, the, the, the frame comes together now. Then you go from the top between the two circles and outside in the back of the picture frame. And again, take the, the needle, the children needle that we create for masking tape and push inside. And sometimes it's difficult, you can open like this and you can see it better. And you go around and around and around and around. Now we are going to sew the last hole and with this we are going to create a handle for the picture frame. Okay, one second. And we are going to cut now. You see, this one needs to be exactly in the middle of the heart, so it's going to be the middle of the plate. We are going to cut the yarn 
and with this we are cutting the the masking tape uh, needle we can do we can make a knot here and we can make here a tie or you can make a bow if you have a longer yarn you can make a bow you can separate it to look nice And here is the picture frame with your picture inside. And if, if you like the, the picture frame to be like this, it's perfect. If you want to, to create the tassel, it's very easy. And it's up to you how long you want it. Again, we are going to take the, the red yarn. If you want a different color, I have at home the red yarn, so this is why I'm using it all the time, and especially for Mother's Day. And we are going to fold the lengths that you want it. If you make it too long, we can cut it in the end. We go back and forth, back and forth, like this. How wide you want it, how long you want it, you choose it, okay. And I think it's going to be the last one, okay. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the end of the yarn and I'm going to make a tie here so I, you push you make all the yarn together. Okay, let me now cut this one so I can show you how I'm tying it together without using needle. Okay, you go first like this. Go around. Very, very tight now you need to do. Very tight. And go around and around. You see I tight? And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create and not, don't do it on the edge, okay? You need a little bit here. Now I'm going to go around and push it here so I create like a knot. I don't know if it's a macrame knot, but okay. You do like a, a loop here. You go with the yarn around and put in the loop and pull it very tight. And again, a loop, go around and pull it from the loop and tie it very very tight how many times you choose you don't need too many okay now we are sure that this one is very very tight now what we are going to do we are going to cut here on the bottom all the yarn that is together like this so it's going to create this tassel and then this you are going to push inside and again we need the the, the needle <laughs> the masking tape needle in the edge and then we cut it out this piece of yarn what you, to make it very easy on the on the top of the of the masking tape just push it so it's going to be easy to to put it here now be sure that you're going and you can use the the ruler for this that is going to be in the middle of the picture so it's going to be this hole let's move the ruler Put it a few times through the hole to be sure that it's not going to come out. If you run out of yarn, you don't have to do it. It's just for decoration. Okay. If you want this part to be in the back, you can have it in the back. I think it's cute. We can cut here the... the excuse me. Look how pretty it is. And we cut now the length of the yarn. Okay. 
Now what we are going to do, we are going to get the glitter. And again, if you choose not to, you don't have to. Okay. I'm going to take the red one, especially for Mother's Day. Okay, we are going to take the glitter. And please have a piece of, of a paper towel in your hands if you need to wipe the tip of the glitter and stuff. Okay, and we are going to go with dots around. the circle of the plate. Now this is going to be one before the last activity. Now, you see I had the mistake, yes, I smeared the, the glitter. I can take the paper uh, towel and wipe it immediately. If you do it immediately, it's going to wipe easy. Here again. And I make another dot. Okay, now what we're going to do around the heart of the picture, from the outside, you you take and you go trace be careful not to put it on the picture okay now you can do the same thing like you go back and forth to make it more shiny With this decoration, you don't have to push too much like we do the dots. You can go. Okay. And we need to open it so it's not going to stick to the picture. And we are done. And here we have a picture for Mother's Day.